Hey, hey, everybody. Happy Sunday. Happy Thanksgiving week ending, if that makes sense. I hope you guys have had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Um, I'm back from vacation. We went on a fishing trip with the, in the Outer Banks with our fishing family. We had a great Thanksgiving dinner with our fishing family, and um, we didn't get to fish because the weather knocked us out. That's okay. We had a great time. Um, I'm glad to be back home again, so I'm getting ready for the holidays. I am so excited for Christmas. I'm going to start decorating this week, so I'm going to have lots of fun things to make with you guys, but I really wanted to hop on today real fast and go over the Magnolia Design craft box. Um, I showed it to you on the Friday before I left for vacation, and I just wanted to make it with you because it's super easy. It's so cute. And um, these craft boxes are available starting December 1 for December. I can't wait to see what that one is, but it comes with so many good things. This month, it was the, um, it's a faux book stack. It looks like books. And this is just wooden, and it has the Magnolia Design Co. emblem on there. So that's just like a wooden box. It comes with some jute. It comes with some wooden beads. And it comes with some greenery. It comes with some chalk paste. And it's coal black. I'm gonna be using mine because I'm probably gonna be doing a giveaway in the month of December. I'll go over that after we get done with this. And um, then it comes with a little squeegee, which is red for Christmas, yay! And then these stencils, home for the holidays. And that one says gnome. Let me take it out so you can see it, it's so cute. And I'm gonna write on the back of it because I have not used it before, but this is the stencils and these are like cut lines that you can cut and they'll fit perfectly on the box. Um, so we're gonna make this and it's not gonna take but just a few minutes. So I hope you have time to stay and watch. Um, if you're catching this on my YouTube channel, welcome. And welcome to all you guys on Facebook to Jill's Creative Side, which I do crafts. Um, Magnolia Design Co. has some amazing stencils. I also make my own stencils using the Icon Art Kit, which is amazing. And I am going to do a video making the stencil for you guys. I just have not had time to do it yet, but I am going to do that for y'all. Um, I make all kinds of crafts and I try to do lives with you guys t two times a week, but since vacation came around, I did not have time to do it. Hey, Marlo! So anyway, let's get started on this and you'll see how easy and fast it is to make this. Um, grab my scissors, so we're just going to end. Before you um, take your stencils off, make sure you write on the back either back or what your stencil is. That way you stick them on the right side because it'll ruin your stencil if you stick it on the wrong side of the backing. I know that's crazy, but it can happen. So I'm just gonna write on here what they are. And this is gonna be quick and easy, you guys. These, these mesh stencils have been a game changer for my crafting. Um, I make the um, door hangers and I've been using the stencils um, from Magnolia. I have made my own. Um, there's also a company called A Maker Studio that has amazing products that I've been making some resin jewelry with. Awesome. I'm going to be doing a video on the earrings soon because I'm going to be making a bunch of those. Um, I'm also... Um, like I said earlier, I'm going to be doing a giveaway in this group um, this month, December, or this is November, but I'll be doing it in December um, because it's Christmas time and it's time to give and I want to give back to you guys. So anyway, if you're catching this on live, say hi, let me know you're on. If you're catching it on a replay, hashtag replay so it bumps the video up. If you're catching this on my YouTube channel, please subscribe to my channel so you can see all my videos. I also do reviews on products um, and all the fun stuff like that. So I hope that you will enjoy that. So but the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tie the jute around the block so I can not get the paint messed up. And it comes with a set of instructions. You do not have to follow these instructions. You can completely make it your own. So, and that's usually what I do is I usually wing it and just come up with my own, my own thing. But that's the whole thing of crafting. There is no wrong way 
All right. I hope I don't get this in a knot. Okay, here we go. So we're going to keep the jute together, I do believe. Oh my, I knew that was going to happen. It's kind of like Christmas lights. Have you guys started decorating for Christmas yet? I'm going to be doing that this week. I'm so excited to do that. All right. This one was not cut. Okay. There we go. So we're going to wrap this around the wooden block, which is like the faux book stack. If I can get this without making a big old knot. All right, so we're going to wrap this around. Actually, you know what? I think they give you way too much jute, which is not a bad thing because you can use it for other products or other um, crafts. But they give you a lot for the the box. The craft box is uh, $19.99. Um, but there is shipping and tax that you would have to pay for that. And you have to join for at least three months. And then you can cancel at any time. So I'm going to wrap this around here. I did it six times. And we're just going to bring it over a little bit. We're going to tie a knot. And then we're going to... Put the stencil on, paint the stencil, and then we're going to add the beads. Like I said, it's easy, easy, easy. These stencils make the projects so easy, you guys. And so cute. Just in time to be decorating for Christmas. Okay, so all I did is I wrapped the jute around there six times, tied it off in a knot, and then we'll come back and put the beads on after we paint. And I have a bucket of water over here. So when I get my stencils finished painting, I can put them in that water and they won't dry. You don't want the paint to dry on your stencil because then it will ruin it. All right. And since I'm not doing this on fabric, we need to fuzz the stencils. That means to take some of the stickiness off of it so that it doesn't stick so much to the wood. And so this is just like a microfiber. It's a fuzzing. You can get these at Magnolia's Design or you can just use like a cloth. You can use your jeans, whatever you have on, um, just as long as it's not something that has a lot of lint. So um, these are like microfiber. So I'm just going to fuzz this because I'm going to do home for the holidays. And it has gnome. You can use a gnome also, but I'm not going to use that. So we're going to do home first and I did write on the back what it was so I know which one to put it on and all you do is put it on here and you just pick it up put it down pick it up put it down just gets the stickiness off takes away some of the stickiness but the stickiness does come back after you use it and these are reusable mesh stencils that is amazing okay so we're going to put home and we're going to line it up in the, on the lines. I'm going to try to get it straight, but I'm not real good at getting them straight, but we'll try. So there we have home. And all we're going to do is, um, this is the chalk paste. And it has been used before, but it, the, the kits come with the paste. And if it's thick, like this is a little thick, I'm just going to spray some distilled water in it to keep it from drying up so much. And that 
if you, um, what I try to do is after each time I use the chalk paste, I just spray a little bit of water in there and put the lid on it. That way it keeps it from drying out and it'll last a lot longer. And they say to use distilled water, don't use tap water. Um, I'm not really sure why. <laughs> that's what they say, so that's what I do. I don't want to waste any of this. And it, it literally takes hardly any paste. So here's the little squeegee that comes in the kit. And that's all I'm going to put on there. Just that little bit. And I'm just going to go right over the home with it. And you don't need to go over it a lot. The less you can go over it, the better off you'll be. And I mean, I didn't even use it all. So I'm going to rake that back in the little container. Um, I just want to rake off any excess, but basically that's it. And that's what it looks like. And then we're just going to pull this up. And I think I did get it straight. <laughs> it's a miracle. Oh my goodness. Okay. Check that out, y'all. Amazing. I love this stuff. I'm telling you, it is so awesome. All right. So we're going to do the next one. And I'm going to try not to get this in the paint that I already have. That almost doesn't even look like real paint, <laughs> but y'all saw me do it. I mean, it's just so clear and crisp. It's amazing. This stuff is amazing, y'all. I'm telling you. I love, love, love it. And um, A Maker Studio is another company that make, they also sell the um, mesh stencils as well. I have not used theirs yet. I um, am planning on using it soon, hopefully. But they have um, the resin. I purchased some of their resin about a month ago and made some jewelry, some earrings. And it's amazing, y'all. I'm not kidding. I'm going to do a live, hopefully this week, if I can squeeze it in, but I want to show you just how easy it is to make the earrings. Uh, I'm like addicted to them. The whole time we were on vacation, my mind was going crazy thinking of what kind of earrings can I make? It's just amazing. Anyway, I could craft like all the time. That was so easy, Marlo. It is that easy. There's no way I could paint and make it come out like that. There's no way. I can't freehand anything. Now, one of the girls on our fishing team does freehand painting and she's got some mad skills let me just tell you that girl is talented she freehands her stuff i'm like wow it's amazing all right so i'm just putting a little bit of paint on there i'm gonna go over it a couple times just to push the paint through it's like a little screen the mesh part just push the paint through there you don't want to keep going over it because the more you go over it the more it will tend to not be as crisp. That's it, y'all. Would I do that three times? I don't know if I got this straight. Whoa. Pretty straight. Pretty straight. And you can do these on, um, you can do, use these stencils on shirts. Um, also, I make shirts. And they sell ink. That is permanent. So, the chalk paste you don't want to use on fabric. But, check it out, y'all. That is amazing, if I do say so myself. Crazy good how crisp that is. It doesn't even look like it's a paint. All right, now we're going to do holidays. I mean, look how fast this cute little, um, they call them shelf sitters. I'm probably going to put it maybe on my mantle over our wood stove. I don't know. I'll put it somewhere. And you guys, I want to see y'all's Christmas decorations. Post pictures of your tree and of your decorations and any crafts that you make. I want to see them, you guys. Um, I'm going to be doing giveaways, and that's going to be one way to get in on the giveaway is to post some of your crafts or some of your decorations. So keep that in mind. I want to see all your stuff. Give me some ideas and, you know, uh, join me on a live and do a craft with me. That would be awesome. Marlo, you need to join me one time on one of my lives and do crafts with me. That would be super fun. It would be better if she was here in person, but she lives out of state. All right, so now we're putting holidays on here. And I am terrible at getting things straight, but these stencils make my life so easy. 
they are so adorable. I think I might have this one straight. I don't know. We'll find out here in a minute. Okay. So we're going to put the paint on there. Just like that. Going to go over it. And I'm not putting a whole lot of pressure on it because you don't want to put too much pressure. It'll make it bleed and you can ruin the stencil. So um, I'm just going to rake off the excess. That's it. And then if you pull this up and you see that you missed a spot or something, it can you can lay it right back down, go over it, good as new. Y'all, straight. Check it out. How cute is that? And you could do that with red too. Red would be pretty. So there's that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw my little stirring stick because we're done with the paint i'm just throwing that in my little tub of water i'm going to spray some water in the um, canister just like that throw the lid on it and we're done with the chalk paste that's how easy that is okay so now we are going to and once once i'm done with this i'll take those stencils in, in there in the sink and wash off the paint and then i'll lay them on this little drying mat um, with the shiny side up, the sticky side up, and I'll just leave it there for probably till tomorrow, and then I'll put them back on their backings and just store them and reuse them again. That's how easy it is. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I am going to cut this a little bit. I'm going to take the jute, and I'm going to tie two strings on here for the beads. Let's see, we don't need them that long. They really don't need to be real long. So we're going to do six, three beads on each one. So about like that. So you just need two strings. I'm going to make it a little bit longer just because I need to make a knot at the end. So I want to give myself plenty of room because we can always cut it. Cut it. Um, so I'm just going to cut these two strings like this. And then I'm going to tie them onto this jute here. And I'm just going to tie them in a knot. That's all I'm doing is tying a little knot. And it's just like a basic knot. And I bet you I didn't, I may have not cut that long enough. We'll see. If I didn't, that's okay. I've got plenty more jute to use. That's the good thing about crafting. You can always fix it, whatever it is. So I'm going to tie this one in, in a knot as well. Now this is so easy and it's going to be so cute. And you can use other um, embellishments on this other than what comes in the kit. It's totally up to you. You just make it your own. All right, so I'm not real sure if I made those long enough, but we'll see. So we're going to take the three beads. And I'm going to do... Black, white, and then the red and black is how I'm going to do it. I'm going to start with the black. And I'm just going to feed them through the hole. And you know what? piece of tape on the end of the jute will make it go through the hole much easier. Because the jute tends to fray. So I'm just going to tape the end. And then we can remove the tape once we're done. It just makes life so much easier to get it through the little hole. Yeah, I think I got enough. Super easy craft, y'all. 
Um, I am going to be making, I know I've mentioned it before, but I am going to be making a um, table runner. I want to make it for, I have like an, a buffet, like piece of furniture in my kind of dining room. And I want to make a Christmassy, but it can be left out all year. It's not going to be just Christmas, but um, I'm going to be doing that with some ticking red ticking fabric. And I'm also going to make some flowers out of the ticking. So that I'm going to be doing that this week because like I said, I'm decorating this week. I'm so excited to be decorating for Christmas. And I will be making that with you guys on live. So be ready for that. Make sure you turn your notifications on so you don't miss it. All right. So I have the beads on and I'm just going to tie a knot at the end so that the beads will stay on. It's so quiet, y'all. Don't you love the quietness? <laughs> okay. All right. Trying to get that in. I don't have my glasses down here, so. All right, so I'm gonna cut. All right, so we have the beat. Look, that knot was not big enough. All right, we're gonna leave that like it is. I'll try not to mess that up. I may have to cut that and redo it, but I'll get. I'll show you and do that later. Let me get this done for you guys so you can see. The tape is a game changer trying to get it through these beads. All right, so we're going to do the black, the white, and then the red and black check it. I'm also going to be making some door hangers, hopefully this week. I've got to get them and get the, um, the wood sanded and stained. But I have an order for one that I need to work on, so I'll be doing that soon. And I'm probably going to do that with you guys, too. I'm going to load y'all up with lives. Okay, so I'm going to tie this in a knot. Let me get the tape off. But, y'all, this is such an easy craft. These craft boxes are good if you're just starting out and you're not sure how um, the stencils work. I mean, because it comes with the um, instructions. So it makes it super, super easy. And like I said, you don't have to follow the instructions. You can do them, make them all your own. That's, that's the good thing about crafting. Okay, so there we have the little beads. I'm probably going to have to fix this. I'm probably going to have to make that a little bit longer because I didn't, my knots are not the greatest. But there's the beads. Now we're going to attach some greenery, this little greenery. And of course, I forgot to put my glue gun on, but we can do this. Um, I can go back and glue it. It'll stay. So you just put your greenery on however you want. You don't even have to use all the greenery, but I mean, how cute is this little porch, uh, porch sitter? Um, and that's it. That's it. I think I am gonna make, make these a little bit longer so the beads hang down, down to here and um, fix that. But how cute is that, you guys? And that took, little of no time to do so there's that craft I'm gonna fix the beads because um, I did not make the twine long enough of course but um, I'll post pictures of it I don't know I don't know let me um I have an idea let me turn my glue gun on and we're gonna finish this with you guys I want y'all to see it let me turn the glue gun on let that be heating up. 
All right, I'll let that heat up and I'm gonna tie some more twine because I want to do that longer. So, we're gonna do it really long this time so I don't mess it up. All right, so I've got the twine. I'm gonna do two strands. Tie this onto here. Okay. All right, so now, now I'm gonna string my beads on here and show you what this is gonna look like. The tape just makes it easier to get through the wooden beads. All right. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. Magnolia has so many cool items. You should check them out. I will definitely um, put the link in the comments below for you guys if you want to check them out. If you're interested in the craft club. It's really a neat a neat way to to learn and to try their products before you actually um, commit to buying them so it's just a cool way and it's I mean it's twenty dollars it's a really good deal and their stencils are reusable so you can reuse them and the craft boxes are basically related to like the month um, this was November, so it was more Christmas themed. And then I'm not sure what next month's gonna be. Let's do the, I'm gonna do the beads in reverse color. See, let's change it up a little bit. And we'll do the, I'm still gonna put the white in there in the middle. All right, so there we do now. Let's tie the knot at the end so the beads will stay on. And I'm gonna do a double knot so they don't slip out. Maybe I'll triple it. Just to make sure the beads don't fall off. And then I'll cut the end off that. So there's that one. And I'll tie this one up a little bit higher. Yeah, good, good, good. Like I said, these are such easy crafts to do, and you can try. The different products without having to spend a lot of money but I'm telling you once you try it you're gonna love it there I'm telling you it's just been a game changer for my crafting it really has okay so now the greenery so now we have the beads I like them better hanging down like that and then we're gonna do the greenery and I think I'm going to cut it I've got tape all over my scissors And if you guys have any questions at all, you can message me or leave a comment. I'll be sure to go back and, and check all the messages. So I'm going to put the, the little greenery there. Man, I've missed being on doing crafts with you guys. I thought of so many different things I wanted to do this week. It's kind of hard to turn my brain off. But it was a nice, relaxing week. We had a great time. But I'm glad to be back home. I missed my dogs. Okay. So you can just play around with it and put the greenery on there how you like it. Not necessarily how they tell you to do it.
All right, let's get the glue gun out. And I use the Sure Bonder glue gun. It's a mess right now, but it works. It might not be hot enough yet. Let that heat up a little bit. So basically what I'm doing is putting the greenery on and I'm kind of putting it underneath the, the twine that we put on there. I really need the glue to hold it. But you can put this greenery on there anyway you want. Some red little berries would be really cute with it, I think. Still not hot enough. Couple more minutes and then we'll be done and that will be it for today. I can't wait to do some more crafting with you. Okay, so let me tell you about the giveaways. I'm gonna be putting together some items um, and it may be some items that we make together on here, um, but I'm gonna be may putting some, maybe have some stencils um, I may make some stencils with the icon art and put in there some chalk paste samples so you can try that. Um, maybe a couple of little stir sticks. Squeegee. Um, I'm going to be doing a giveaway and the way that it's going to start in December and I'll definitely post something about it. But the way that you get in on the giveaway is you are watching a live and commenting. Because if you don't comment, then I don't know that you're watching so you'll have to watch the live you can watch the replay but you have to comment because if you don't comment then i won't know who who to put down in the drawing so it's going to be a drawing and um, watching the lives is going to be one way to get on there post some pictures of your christmas decorations will be another way post some pictures of crafts that you've done that's another way to get in on the drawing so stay tuned for that um, i'm looking so forward to um, giving back to you guys it's going to be so fun. So anyway, that is going to be in December, which is Wednesday. <laughs> so be looking out for that. All right, so we're going to glue those down. And be careful when you're using hot glue because it's really, really hot. It can burn you. I've been burned so many times with it, but so make sure you stay tuned, turn your notifications on so you don't miss any of the posts, especially about the giveaways. Who doesn't love a giveaway, right? And what I'm doing is gluing this down. I think I'm probably going to have to add some red berries. I just think that it needs a little bit of red to it, but basically... We've got some greenery, we've got the beads, and we've got our paint. And that project is done. How cute is this gonna look sitting on the shelf or on the mantle or wherever? And I may even have to put a pine cone. I'm not sure. I've gotta do something with this greenery because I'm not crazy about it. Just alone. Maybe some pine and maybe some red berries. We're gonna fix it up. And then I will take pictures and post these. But this is today's project using the Magnolia Design craft box for November. Cute, cute, cute. So you guys, um, stay tuned for December's craft box. I don't, you, I don't normally receive them until usually the middle of the month. So as soon as I get it, I'll show it to you and then we'll make the craft together. Um, so anyway, that is the craft for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope that you will come back and watch all of my lives and check me out on YouTube. Also, a way to get entered for the December giveaway is going to be to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Jill's Creative Side. Once you subscribe, let me know you subscribe so I can check it and add you in on the drawing. So, but I will be posting about that later 
probably I will make an official post or make an announcement on Wednesday with all the ways to get in on the drawing. So anyway, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope that you enjoyed this. I will be making the table runner this week. I have to get it done because I need to decorate this week. So anyway, look forward to doing that with you guys. I hope you have fun. I hope you enjoy watching these and um, like, love, comment, subscribe to my channel on YouTube, Jill's Creative Side. And thanks for being in my Facebook group, Jill's Creative Side. You guys are amazing. And um, I hope to see you real soon. So y'all take care. Have a wonderful week. It's going to be a great week. Okay. You guys have a great week and I will talk to you soon. Take care.